Yo, what's up? Let's make a banger from a video game soundtrack. If you watched any of my other videos, you might notice that I like to implement my other interests and inspirations throughout my channel. I have a huge appreciation for things like anime and K-pop. Oh, you like K-pop? Shut the fuck up. And I often throw these references and memes around in my videos. Sometimes as background music, sometimes in my songs and raps. But one thing you guys might not know about me is that your boy is quite the gamer. As a matter of fact, Prexy Plays used to be a gaming channel, and I used to play stuff like Rocket League and Smite with my friends. And no, I wasn't good at any of those games, by the way. I even made a few rap songs about the Smite gods. Don't don't watch those videos. They're <laughs> they're really bad. Just do it like Nike, try me, fuck us to come, try to fight me. Yeah, got wars on the map. But one thing that really makes a video game stick with me is the soundtrack. A game can be completely mid, but if the soundtrack bangs, 10 out of 10. And it's always really interesting to hear songs from games flipped into hip hop tracks. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna flip a song from everyone's favorite video game, Raid Shadow Legends. And yes, this video is sponsored by them. Let's go! This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play, turn-based role-play game for the iOS and Android. This game comes with the production and depth of a full-fledged AAA title in the palm of your hand. With over 500 unique champions, thousands of skill trees, and millions of artifacts to find and equipped, there's literally trillions of playable team comp strategies. Did I mention this game was free? I'ma be honest, I was a complete noob when it came to this game, but Raid is so thorough with its tutorials that I was all cut up with its main features and mechanics after my first time playing. And all memes aside, this game is genuinely fun to play. Like after creating and leveling up my team, I actually got pretty wrapped up in the main campaign. So. What's new in Raid? Last month they've released their biggest update ever, with the new main event, the Doom Tower. With 120 floors, tons of secret challenge rooms, and 12 new dangerous bosses to take on, this is their biggest and most ambitious project yet. And the best time to start playing Raid Shadow Legends is right now. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is use the link in the description, and if you're a new player, you'll get an XP booster, energy refills, an Ascendant Shard, 50 gems, and the free Void Champion, Bulwark. And all of these treasures will be waiting for you here. It's kind of a big deal. What are you waiting for? Go play Raid Shadow Legends. So I was actually working on a completely different video when Raid offered me a sponsorship. But when I was listening to some of the music they sent me for the ad read, one of the songs just caught my ear. And I was like, yo. That's a sample. So I took it, found an eight bar section, threw it into Fruity Slicer, pitched it down 200 cents, and made that my main melody loop. I really opened that email and said, oh sick, <laughs> melody loops. I did add a bunch of effects to it, like slow-mo for that halftime feel, sound goodizer because I feel obligated to, two EQs, one to cut the low end and one to lower some of the harsh frequencies, stereo shaper for some depth, and a limiter for peak reduction. I also took that 8 bar loop that I made earlier and automated this EQ and Supermassive to make this cool build up into the main drum loop. Now that the melody loop is done, I started to brainstorm what type of drums I envisioned on something like this. And immediately, I thought about my producer friend, Beaster the God. And I wanted to base my drums off of his style of music. He's got a lot of beats using epic sounding samples with dark drums and trappy hi-hats and kicks that really punch through the mix. Not that hard, goddamn. The drums are pretty straightforward, moving in a trappy, almost Memphis style drum pattern. I compressed the kick with a limiter and I also added a soft clipper and yikes, you probably shouldn't do that. I also added some reverb to the hi-hats and I also layered this percussion loop and this live hi-hat loop just for some extra movement. I wanted a bass that complements the hard drums, so I went with something kind of aggressive. I used a few effects like Sound Goodizer and Decapitator for distortion, and an EQ for removing some harsh frequencies. I also have it sidechained to the kick with a limiter. I forgot to mention that I added these weep whoop parts to the bass. 
There's also a section of the beat where I wanted to switch it up, so I changed some of the drums and used this chiller plug style drum pattern just for a bit, and then I bring everything back right at the end. And to top everything off, I added some risers and transition effects. And that is it. So yeah, this is an instrumental. It is called Avenger. And you can stream it on my SoundCloud. That's pretty much it. Remember to like the video and enjoy.